Good morning, Mr. Anderson here. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to uh, remind you how to uh, add and subtract rational numbers, um, specifically uh, in, in a moment, the decimals. Before we get that though, uh, we got a couple uh, integer problems, these first four that I'd like you to look at. Uh, we got negative 15 and negative 50. And remember when the signs are the same, we're just gonna add those numbers together. and then use the sign of those numbers. Whenever we're adding numbers with the same sign, just add them and use that numbers. When you're subtracting, you need to change that to adding the opposite. Instead of subtracting negative 18, add positive 18. Now we're adding two numbers with the same sign, add them, and use that sign. Again, when you're adding two numbers with different signs, you have to find the difference in their absolute values and then use the sign of the number farthest from zero. Subtracting changes to adding the opposite. Adding two numbers with the same sign, add them and use that sign. All of these things are in the flow chart I didn't do the estimating, and on a quiz or a test, you're certainly going to want to do that. But you ask yourself, is it addition? And if it is, if the signs are the same, you work it one way. And if the signs are not, you work it a different way. If it's not addition, you change the subtraction to adding the opposite. So subtracting a positive becomes adding a negative. Subtracting a negative, adding a positive. Then you have an addition sentence. So you figure out if the signs were the same or not. Estimating gonna be helpful to make sure your answer is in the ballpark. So how does this change when we work with decimals? Not a whole bunch. Doesn't change a whole bunch at all. We just have to work it as we've been working. So I'm subtracting number five. So change it to adding the opposite. Negative 3.8 plus positive 9.1. Now that it's adding, the signs are different. When the signs are different, you have to find the difference in their absolute values. And you do that just like I showed you last week. the decimal point. 8 minus 3 is 5. Now is this positive or negative? Well the largest absolute value is positive. So my answer is adding numbers with the same signs, just add them and use that sign. Subtracting, change it to adding. The opposite. So instead of subtracting 10 and a half, add negative 10 and a half. We have two numbers with the same signs, so we add them. And use that sign. Different signs when you're adding, subtract their absolute values. Or just absolute value goes on top. Use the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. Sorry about that. The larger absolute value goes on top. Use the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. Check uh, the classwork, and you'll find uh, you'll find some example problems that you can work through just like we did, and then you can check to make sure you've done them correctly. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.